Okay, today's video is gonna be about how to change the cover page on your Instagram Reels. And I bring this up because I was recently on a coaching call with Kai McBride's group. And not to throw anyone under the bus, but Robert, I'm gonna make you my example since you were our example in the class. I'm gonna share my screen so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Robert in the group, they had asked for feedback on a few different clients and their accounts. And so for Robert, I said, here's the problem. He's not alone, my friends, because I still see this on several different accounts, whether it's loan officers or real estate agents. And when people land on your feed, remember, they could be given your name. And so they go to look you up, they land on your feed, they scroll for a couple feet. And if I were to do that on here, I can tell the reels because of this video icon, the reels as I scroll what is going to cause me to stop my scroll and click to learn more about the video? Because as you can see, they all kind of look the same and we see his head front and center, but there's no hook or it appears there's no hook. When in reality, what's happened is he's recorded the reel on his phone where he's done it in vertical mode, which is correct. But remember, there's a safe zone that you have to pay attention to because on your actual feed, whenever it's posted, it posts as a one by one square. So see how on his actual news feed, see this square? So the hook, he act, you can kind of see the very bottom of it. It's actually there, but it's cut off whenever he posted it. This is no different than whenever you're recording, I have told y'all, make sure you leave about an inch gap at the top and the bottom. That way you fit center frame. Because if I were to click on his real speed here, see how it shows the vertical? And so naturally we assume when we are recording that, oh, I'm doing it correctly. I have a hook here. That's only because you've used the space in that top inch section on your phone. And unfortunately, when you go to post it on your feed, yes, it does show in your real feed and your news feed. But remember when people are looking for social proof, or maybe they're looking to learn, like I'm a first time home buyer and I want to learn anything that could help me. This doesn't help me. And people are lazy. My friends, we have to always pick the path of least friction. Like what's going to be the most minimal amount of work for people. And unfortunately they're just, they're not going to like stop and look to see what that video is about. Cause it just looks like your head. So how do you fix that? Or maybe you're a client who's recently made a move and Lord knows there's been a lot of you who've made different changes with who your employer is. Maybe you went to a different company that has completely different brand colors. And so now you look at your feed and you're like, it looks like I've been at so many different places. Well, here's your tutorial of exactly how to edit your actual real speed. So I'm going to remember, all I do is I click screen record. So I drag and I'm clicking this button here. That is my screen record. So if you don't have this feature, definitely get it. It's counting down. And I'm going to go through the keystroke so you guys can kind of follow along with me. So I'm going to open up my Instagram app. I was teaching a class today, so I have not looked at any of my notifications. I'm going to click on the bottom right icon, which is my profile picture, just so I can be on my actual feed. Let's look at this example of Denise, where it says, what content days really look like with the nerd? So you can see I chose to do the one where she's doing this because I thought that that was kind of enticing. Like you see someone doing this. That's not actually what the first frame looked like. But you can see her head is a little bit cut off. And even the one where I have, did you hear the big news? My head's a little cut off. You can see the reason why. So when I clicked on it and it expanded to the whole vertical view, you can see I didn't follow my own advice and have an inch of room up top and an inch of of room at the bottom. That's because I was, I had sent this to Dave Savage and the mortgage coach crew whenever they announced the new name, Trust Engine. And so I wasn't thinking I was going to post it, but then um, he said, Hey, if you post it, make sure you tag me. So I thought, Oh, maybe that was my subtle, make sure to post and tag you. But let's say for Denise's example, I'm going to click on the actual reel that I want to change the cover. So Robert, this is what you would do to go back and fix all of these. This was her copying the Rihanna dance for the halftime show for the Super Bowl. In case anyone watches this and it's way after the fact, um, you may be like, what in the world is she doing? Did she toot when she's waving the toot? Lord knows I would have been running, running out of the room. Okay, so I'm going to click on the three little dots in the bottom right. And when you see when I do that, 
Let's look at these options here. Yes, it gives you options to save to your device, to look at insights, to have a link, but notice it doesn't have an edit button. That is the difference when you click on the three dots on the bottom right versus when you click on the three dots in the top right hand corner. So watch the difference. I'm going to click on the top right hand corner. Now look at all of these additional features. If I want to save it to my device, I can. If I want to get the actual link. So why would this be important? Why would I want this URL link? Well, maybe you're sending a mass email out to your agents every Friday and you had a social media post that we made for you that you really liked and think could be a value. You could just take this link, hyperlink it in the email. And now you're drawing people back to your Instagram. This is a strategy, guys, of how to get people back to your funnel or on your channel. But for today's video and today's purpose, I'm going to click edit. So when I go to edit, there you go. Do you see at the very bottom of the photo where it says cover? So right now she's looking straight at me doing this. I'm going to click cover. And now I can take my finger and I can drag it along the bottom. And maybe, like, for example, if I were to do this one, this would not be a good choice. Look how high her head is to the top, okay? I really need it to be in that safe zone, in that, that vertical, in that middle of the vertical sandwich, so to speak. That's why I chose the one where she was sitting because it gave me the most amount of wiggle room at the top, but this I thought was too boring. Like it's just her staring at her phone. We all know we see that view a lot from people, right? So I wanted to give it some spice. See, doesn't that look cute kind of? But maybe just to be a turd, maybe I'll do this one where it looks like she's, I'm going to do that just to be mean since I'm her twin. So people are going to be like, what in the world is she doing back there? And I could totally change this caption and be like, when your sister just toots on you, <laughs> I won't do that. But now I'm going to hit done and I'm going to hit done. And now I'm going to go back to my, you always want to check your work, hit refresh. I just drug it down and there you go. You can still see the hook and now you see her hand there. But let's say you had one that maybe you had in your camera roll. And guys, you can do this when you're first creating the reel. I don't think a lot of people realize when I click edit, see where it says cover? I could have chosen, see at the very bottom where it says add from camera roll? If I were to click that, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to pick this one for now. This would not be a good photo to use because it's not only not in the safe zone, but it doesn't fit the vertical view parameters. And Instagram's very particular. You know, they're going back to favoring photos. It's a photo sharing app and they're the most particular about quality. So you really want to make sure that it fits. This would not be a good example of that, but you can see nowhere is that photo going to be in the reel. It's just me clicking add from camera roll. There you have it, people. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to one, try to make it where she's down as much as possible. Okay, and then I'm going to hit done. And you always want to include location. So see how I've tagged the location here? If you can, if you have set yourself up as a location, even better. I'm going to click done. Again, I'm going to click on the bottom right on my profile picture. I'm going to refresh by dragging down. And there you go. Now you see the cover page. So this is your easy fix for those of you who may be like Robert and you go back and you're looking at your account and you're like, am I really going to have to redo all of these reels? No, you don't. But it's also probably good for you to audit what you do have and which of your posts could be hyperlinked and embedded into some of your campaigns. They could even be your in-process campaigns in your CRM. Maybe you have a great image of seller concessions or you have something of like the do's and don'ts whenever you're pre-approved. Those are all things that if you embed it into your email platform, that's a way to leverage email, but also driving people back to your social media. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any additional questions, please make sure you email marketing at plugandplaysm.com or you can visit our website. And as always, please share, like, subscribe, comment if this video was helpful, as well as what other tips do you guys want to learn about? What questions do you guys have? What are some tutorials that you would like for me to do for these upcoming weeks? Y'all just let me know and you know we will deliver. Y'all take care.